Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed the truth. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladine, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear the bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Wyatt fool or you'll bring trouble on our heads. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, master. But be wary of ruffians. And sons of whores are always lurking in the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither.
offer, please? And be grateful for the gifts you receive. However, one shouldn't ignore an opportunity for a conversation with God when faced with such. The hour of Lord Father, protect me from sin, so I may cast the first stone. Stole my shirt skin.
resto de sitio. Adiós. Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. All daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Schwebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. What is your name, Master? Mortimer Maradine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although... Since the Monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy! The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the King of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here. There's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots.
You are supposed to guard. That's supposed to be a dodge? Enough. Time for real combat. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. You have to pick up the pail, move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning. Fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? You have to try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far.
fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? for my hand you have to try harder master because you don't seem to be doing so well so far Finally. I guess the town's treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metterdean, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Hey, children. Have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He he's Got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing?
Punk who robbed me. Masks and costumes of harlots from the Orient. Only I. Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! Buy your costumes! Tomorrow's the Mama's Parade! Not reeks of rotten fish. Hag must have bathed in perfume. Made me lose the scent. It's not him. Let go! It hurts! Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the Plague of Pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his cart. Off you go then. I need your fill. Inquisitor. Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues then. Name's Roland, Master Executioner. We are no colleagues. I'd like to buy a mask for tomorrow's parade. Hold your horses there, Inquisitor. I was here first. Well, Merchant, do you have any garb worthy of an Executioner? For you, Master Executioner, I uh, have something special. Here are the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tianon. The Butcher who disappeared off the face of the Earth a few years ago? He was a devil, so devils dragged him under. He's sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. Poppycock! Piss off, or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? you 
dig up there, friend. It's been a while since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What do you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the merry executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him. So I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master. Don't lie or you'll end up in the pillory. I'll tell you everything, my lord. Don't hurt me. An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. Your words stink of lies. Was as I said, I swear. I'll get to the truth one way or another. I'll be back if I discover you played me for a fool. Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my payment. Jesus snatched the centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius' head. Thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one. Head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King! And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the Emperor.